What I'm setting out to do as a drama director is to create a bond between character and audience. I want them to care about that character so much that they're almost imagining that they have a friend. That's when you get real success. That's when you create drama that means something to somebody. To date, I've worked mostly in film and television. Recently, I've been working on a computer game for the Xbox platform. Not a computer game like you may be used to, as in role-playing or in fighting or in driving or in problem solving. This has been a game actually in which you, you create a relationship with a three-dimensional character. The audience, in this case a player, they were able to talk to them, they were able to teach them things, they were able to show them things, go on adventures together. We were pushing boundaries and attempting things that had not been done before. The first demonstration of the game was at E3 in Los Angeles, one of the world's major games expos. The creative director of the project, Peter Molyneux, showed the audience that the player could have face-to-face -face spontaneous conversation with the character Milo. Hi, I'm Milo, how are you doing? Hi Claire, you okay? Actually, I'm a bit nervous. You? Nervous? I don't believe it. The character is affected by the player. When asked about his homework, we can see here Milo gives an emotional reaction. That is if you finished your homework. You have finished your school project. We can see from his posture and avoiding the player's eye line that he's embarrassed. <laughs> the game was showcased at TED a major forum in which leading lights in technology, entertainment and design present their ideas. This time, another unique feature of the game was showcased, the player's ability to teach Milo new skills. In this case, how to play the game of skimming stones. The many meetings I had during my three years on the project with the creative director and the design team were really interesting because we were working out how to combine what makes a game work well for the player with what makes a character feel real. Through the game, the relationship develops between Milo and the player. At first, he's guarded. Uh, I don't really use this anymore. Later, he confides in the player. There's this boy I know. Who's dad? He's in the army. I worked really closely with a team of screenwriters who wrote the story and dialogue. Even though we were working in an interactive environment, just like in any good drama, we were out to make the character really come alive. To create the animation for the game, we worked with an actor in motion capture studios in the UK and Los Angeles, with many of the crew that made James Cameron's Avatar and Steven Spielberg's Tintin. You take an actor, you put them in a funny suit covered in sensors, you put them in a room surrounded by hundreds of cameras and you get them to perform believably. My job was to create truthful performances. Every nuance, every gesture that they give is rendered into the animation data. It very much relies on extremely good performance because without good performance you don't have good data. That data was given to the animation team at Lionhead, who I worked with closely, so that we got the animated character to have all the energy of the original live performance. Motion capture is incredibly demanding for actors. They have none of the things they normally rely on when they're performing. Often on a film set they'll walk on and they'll have other actors to perform to. Often in motion capture they're not performing to an act or another actor, they're performing to uh, an object and having to pretend that's either a monster or another character or an animal or whatever. Ah! In a motion capture shoot, the actor will not have a set to look at, they'll have a grey room. They don't have a costume, they're wearing a strange skin tight suit. The props they work with will look nothing like the real things. It's a huge act of imagination for an actor. You have to generate so much of that yourself. Crash! Smash! Milo! Sorry! I need more room to do that trick. Do your homework! Okay. The actor is even more reliant on me than in conventional film drama. The relationship is even more primary, much more high energy and much more intimate than on a traditional film set. The work of the director is to guide the actor and help them create a performance, which is 100% believable, despite the fact that they're actually in a, a shed. <laughs> it's incredibly lifelike and authentic as a, as, a, as a technology, and as a tool for a director to use to capture drama. Wow. Look what I've got, a new paint gun.
touch me if you can. There's a reciprocal relationship between character and player here. But just like a real relationship, there can also be moments of conflict. Who want you anyway? No one! And that's all part of the transformation of gaming we were involved in. In most games, the animated character is the player's avatar. The player experiences the game through them. The camera angle is typically behind the character, fairly high, looking over their shoulder at the environment they face. In our game, the animated character is a different person to the player, and there is a human relationship between these two different people. To make the relationship come alive, I changed the position of the camera. I positioned it at a human level, eye to eye, enabling Milo to talk naturally to the player. The camera is also handheld, which makes the player feel they're sharing Milo's experience. Though the player is sometimes following Milo, I often directed the actor to turn back and make eye contact and share his feelings. Come on. Come on. My approach throughout this project was to use cinematic techniques to express Milo's emotional state in order to evoke an empathetic reaction from the player. Working closely with the game's developers meant that drama direction and interactive technology combined to make this such a different kind of computer game. Everything about this job was exciting. Everything about it was challenging. From motion capture technology to melding, live action performance by an actor to animation to creating a character that you not only empathise with but you actually related to on an actual practical level. I don't know if it's the first time, but it's certainly very unusual for a drama director to be fully integrated with every part of a game's development, production, animation, sound recording, the whole thing right through to completion. I learned a huge amount and it's going to inform anything I do in the future.